hi guys welcome to the second episode of our christmas baking series um excuse my christmas regalia i'm absolutely feeling the christmas season and yes it's corny but i love it today we're going to be making caramel apple pies <laughs> Today we're going to be making caramel apple pie minis. Um, this is perfect for those who do not have a pie dish. Say hello to Pearl who can't stay one place. Perry, Perry, cutie girl, cute, cute. All right, let's let that go. Bye, baby. So today we're going to be making apple caramel pie minis. This is perfect for people who do not have a pie dish or you want to make pies that could go around individually and every member of your family or your friend or whoever you're spending Christmas with would get one piece. So without further ado, let's head on to the kitchen and start making our apple caramel pie minis. So Pearl is back because she loves belly rubs and she loves to bite me. So we're going to start out by preparing the apples. For this apple, you want to peel them, core them, slice them, and cube them. You want to cut them really small because we're making minis and you want the apple to be able to cook thoroughly during the baking process. Pearly girly has to go. Now, you start out with your peeled and cubed apples, then you put in your cinnamon, some sugar and finally your caramel i use the homemade caramel sauce but you can get a store-bought one and if you wanted me to show you how i make my homemade caramel sauce i would make a video about that eventually so you mix your filling together and you set them aside then you get your pie dough and you roll it out all together i'm using a homemade pie dough but if you do not like to make pie doughs, because I swear pie doughs are not for everybody, you can definitely get a store-bought one. If you want to know how I make the simplest, nicest pie dough in the whole wide world, let me know and I'll make a video about that. So you roll out your pie dough. It should be about one inch thick. And then you cut out circles with either a cookie cutter or whatever it is you have on hand at home. You cut out the circles, you... We roll your pie dough, knead it a little bit again, roll it out, cut out the circles. You repeat this process until you are done with all the pie dough. Now, the next step is to fill the pie dough. You place one circle, put your pie filling on it, add the other one and close it tightly. You want to really seal the edges so that the filling inside doesn't seep out. This will make your pies burn if the filling seeps out. Now you cover your pie dough. I use the fork to press the edges. I use the fork to press the edges to make sure that everything is well sealed and also gives it like a little beautiful look and all that. I also poked holes in on top of my pies to allow air go out and for it to cook properly. I then covered my pie doughs, my pies, sorry, with melted butter. You can feel free to use um some egg wash to do that. But I use melted butter in this case because that's what I had. Egg wash should make your dough shiny and all that, but you can get away with also using melted butter. Now you want to bake your pies for 15 to 20 minutes or until it's golden brown and ready. When you get your pies out of the oven, please remember to let it cool down and it is absolutely ready. It comes together so quickly and your family and friends will absolutely love it because it is a lovely, wonderful holiday treat. So if you like this video and you like this Christmas series, I do have one more video in my Christmas series coming up next week. And I'm going to hope that you come back and watch it again. Thank you for staying this long and watching this video. I love you.